Newsrooms today are markedly different than they used to be uh, in the past um, because of this beautiful thing we call the internet. More and more people are getting their news on their tablets and smartphones. My husband and I used to joke many years ago that the day they invented an electronic newspaper you could take to the bathroom with you would be the end of print media. And by golly, that's what the iPad is. Yes, we still put out a print product. Will we always? I don't know. I, I think in the coming years there will be a place for print, but it just might not be as frequent as we're used to every day. It is now an experience of its sundial online. I do believe they have, um, uh, tw they use Twitter. Um, uh, there's all sorts of things they do. They do video as part of Sundial now. Our students have, you know, more ability to tell those stories in unique ways, whether it's using social media, um, whether it's using a map, whether it's using video or using words. You with your iPhone or Android can go, you see something happening on campus, take a picture of it, write a few sentences, and then you can email that directly to one of our news editors. New forms of delivery will always be available. Um, I don't know how, how quick, how quickly those will happen, but it is my belief that even if you have only electronic newspapers, somebody still has to know how to gather the information, how to sort the information, how to distinguish between nonsense somebody is telling you and what you can believe, how to get a balanced viewpoint by talking to multiple people. It's just how you're telling your stories. It's ch the, ch you know, the channels have changed. And our students have, you know, more ability to tell those stories in unique ways, whether it's using social media, um, whether it's using a map, whether it's using video or using words. The reporting part of it, the news gathering part of it, will always be valuable, no matter at the end how you send out what you've learned as a reporter. Journalism is not dying. Journalism is the drive to find out what's happening. Journalism is the drive to get truth, to get transparency, and disseminate that honestly and objectively to the public. We have students doing things that are um, more keeping with our times. Social media jobs are rampant in, in our industry, and they're taking them because they have the experience. Um, students are getting hired at NBC and not on necessarily on camera because that would be a big jump to that market, but they're doing the online content. So there's jobs out there now that we've never thought of before or we didn't think of when I was um, their age. Now the journalism department is talking about what we, we, an integrated newsroom in terms of the TV show, the radio broadcast, the newspaper, the electronic newspaper, all would be working out of the same newsroom. Bringing print students uh, working with broadcast students, working with radio students, because with the internet you can have a written print story with the podcast embedded, with the YouTube video of the news package embedded, and you can have the whole multimedia news experience on one web page. Teaching technology is interesting. It requires the faculty to be on top of it. How do you distinguish between legitimate information from the internet and nonsense. Anybody can, as you know, anybody can go on the internet and say anything they want and someone picks it up and it's, and it's repeated and repeated until it seems to be true. And so somehow you have to give journalism students the in instinct to say, um, where is this information coming from? How would this person know this information? And is it, is it, is it good information? Is it, is it accurate? Trying to get the workflow and then the staff to think web first has been possibly the biggest challenge in how I've been wanting to lead the paper. They have to think about the, a tablet, which is a little bit larger screen. They have to think about the really large screen of the computer and then the desktop computer. And then they have to think about this tiny little, you know, mobile phone. And so that requires them to have to approach content in very different ways. Media literacy should be a required course of every student entering this university. I've thought that for 30 years. Um, because if you can't distinguish, and you're all online now, if you can't distinguish from A to B to C what the value is, then it all becomes valuable, it all becomes relevant, and there is just a lot of nonsense out there.